Hey YouTube, it's Evan. Um, today's video is going to be the Herb Saturdays um, compilation. We are on number four, even though I know this video is being uploaded on a Tuesday. Um, let me just briefly explain. For those of you who don't know, I just had a roommate move in and it's been really hectic around here trying to get her kind of set up and get her kind of comfortable and whatnot. And it was also Super Bowl Sunday here in the United States this past Sunday and I live in Colorado and the Broncos were of course going to Super Bowl 48 with the Seattle Seahawks and we totally lost and so this whole weekend I was like preparing for Sunday because I had a little Super Bowl party and yeah. So that's why I did not get around to making this video on Saturday. So I'm just going to do it now. But yeah, so <clears throat> without any further ado, to, um, this week I decided to do patchouli. Um, a lot of people have been requesting patchouli because it's something that I feel like a lot of um, people who are just getting into herbs and just getting into Wicca, I feel like patchouli is one of the herbs that they hear pretty frequently. Um, it's most commonly in oil form, but you can definitely use the herb form. So without further ado, let's just get started. Um, first and foremost, the element in which patchouli is governed under is earth. And like other earth-related herbs, um, earth, the element itself, is related to prosperity and to healing and growth and new beginnings and things like that. Um, the planet that governs patchouli is the sun. Patchouli likes the sun quite a bit if you're growing it. It's very easy to grow patchouli. Um, it's a very arid plant. So yeah, now let's talk about um, possibly the power flow. Um, if you do decide to use patchouli in any of your spell work, um, one thing that it's most commonly known for is for men to attract the ladies. It is a masculine, I guess, kind of, not necessarily scent, but it's definitely um, women definitely are very attracted to the smell of patchouli itself. So usually men will note it on their temples or on like their jawline or their inner wrist here and hopefully them ladies come a flocking. So um, other ways you can use it though is it's also used to ward off evil and negativity, um, also for protection and any other kind of sensual type of spells and Sabbaths and Esbats that kind of work around sexuality and things like that. Like Beltane is a definitely a very sexually charged Sabbat that's going to be coming up May 1st, so here in a couple months. Um, now ways you can use it is of course, like I already mentioned, if you are a male, you can definitely note the, some uh, patchouli oil on your wrist or on your neck or on your temples. And it's said to attract women and to attract the feminine divine, if you will. Um, another way is you can use the herb form itself in a loose incense to help ward off negativity and um, kind of ill intentions as well as evil. Um, also, you can use it to prepare, um, like make it in an incense form, and you can also use it to help prepare for psychic workings like divination or palmistry or rune pulling or anything like that. And you can also use it in love spells since it is one of those herbs that is charged with high sensuality, if you will. It's really great in love spells to either help attract a lover. Like I said, usually um, if a male wants to attract a lover, using patchouli will definitely help you. But you, if you're a woman, you can also use it in your spell work as well. Um, you can also use patchouli oil to anoint candles and to help prepare candles for spell work, like I said, regarding sabbats and esbats that are very sensually driven and things like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, those are just a few ways you can use patchouli, and I'm sorry if this video was super duper quick. Um, I'm already at 4 minutes and 14 seconds, so I kind of had a feeling that if I just kind of didn't write it down already and didn't have my little card as usual, that I would kind of get to rambling. So, yeah, um, next week I'm going to be doing Sage. That is another one that people have really been highly requesting as far as my Herb Saturday series goes. So if you want more of these videos, give it a thumbs up. And if there's any herbs that you want to specifically see, then feel free to comment below and let me know. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can feel free to comment here as usual or you can inbox me here on YouTube. <clears throat> 
and you can even use my personal email which is all lowercase evan.rose at gmail.com and I do have a Twitter and I will be leaving the link below to my Twitter if you want to follow me feel free so yeah until then I wish you all lots of light love and blessings and I'll see you next time take care